Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, we're gonna be taking on the Forest Temple. So, let's go ahead and get started, and well, look, two wolfos, oh no, we have to fight them, I'm just gonna spam the spin attack or something. Actually, I think the easiest thing to do is wait for them to do their strikes, and then hit them on the tail, so one, one, two, turn back, there you go, you're dead. Now, where's the other one? Hello there. Right, go ahead and try to attack me. I believe you don't want to guard it with your shield because that will prevent them from attacking any further. So one, two, and bam. All right, that was easy. Uh, longer than I expected though. But let's go ahead and get things started. This temple is really freaking cool. I love the atmosphere for it. Um, the music is really like creepy and all. And I don't know, everything to it is awesome. It's actually super linear if you know what you're doing. But the first time around, it might be really confusing, so hopefully I'll make it seem extremely easy, because I do know what I'm doing, so yeah. Let's go ahead and pick up this gold skull tool. I believe there are five in total, so that is one out of the five. We have four left. You want to make sure you collect all of the gold skull tools within temples, because you kind of don't want to backtrack to temples. I mean, at least that's my opinion. It's not really fun to completely backtrack to a temple or something, so... Yeah, but anyways, hello there, Skulltella, we can easily kill them with just one strike with the hookshot. You don't even have to wait for them to turn their back. The hookshot pierces through their hard shell, and <gasps> look at that, different colors of flames. So pretty, but now it's gone. All right, well, they look pretty, and as you can tell, they are actually different pose that hold that fire. They're gonna fly away. So the objective for this temple is to restore this like elevator lift that is in the center of the room and that's by bringing back all four pose to this area. And you don't necessarily bring them back, you just have to kill their spirits and the fire will return to this area. So that's what we want to do and there are a bunch of rooms that are open up for us and it just looks confusing but like I said it really isn't if you know what you're doing. So. Here is another gold skull tool that's easy to avoid because it's just randomly there. You wouldn't really expect it. But there we go, our second one. Three more to go. And then we don't have to worry about that. But anyways, here I believe yeah, we have a bubble. So let's go ahead and block with our shield so we can remove the fire aura that's around it. And we get inside this room, which I believe will fight for the first time, Stalfos. The worst enemy in this game because it's just a freaking waiting game you just have to sit and wait for them to attack and once they do you want to strike them as fast as possible but usually it takes way too long <laughs> i don't know i don't like fighting these guys they aren't really that fun there isn't really any tactic to it it's just literally being patient and then going for an attack so if i can do that then i'll be happy or if he can attack a bunch like he is now i'll be able to kill him within a matter of seconds and just like that i did now that they are dead a chest will appear. Now, they are still cool enemies in general because they, um, like, they, they try to fight you back uh, instead of other enemies which don't block. I mean, they're similar to you, I guess you could say, like, your combat style. So, I like that. Uh, but like I said, so they usually take forever to kill, so I don't like that fact, I guess. I don't know. I'm iffy. I'm back and forth with them, but... Anyways, we have two keys on us, and that's one thing that isn't too cool about this temple. You want to sit and just collect a bunch of keys, and then you're going to be using all of them, like, at once, once you have a lot. So, yeah. Wait. Keep forgetting how to play the song. I always want to play it, like, in the opposite order. I'm just not used to the keys for, like, the notes on the 3DS. Like, until this day, I grew up playing the N64 one, so I'll never get used to it. But that block of time was covering this door, and we needed to uh, get rid of it so we can just continue it throughout here. And here, oh my god, a bunch of Deku nuts. Sweet. All right, so, hi there, fella. Just die right now. I don't want to mess with you. And uh, let's see, is there anything up here? Don't think there will be. Yeah, there isn't. All right, I just wanted to double check and make sure everything is good, but I believe we want to scale this wall that is filled with vines and skulltulas. So, yeah, not too pretty. So you kind of want to kill him with your hook shot. You can reach this one, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you can, okay. Because if you don't kill him and try to scale this wall of vines, they'll end up aggroing on you and they'll knock you all the way down on the floor and it's not fun if that does happen. So, oh no, I'm in a room and there's a bubble. Let's kill it, that's it. 
I don't know why the door like locks on you as in this is gonna be a really difficult battle and you also get rewarded with a chest but sadly the reward isn't worth it it's it's a really crappy reward it's a dungeon map yay cool nobody cares all right well whatever let's just go ahead and keep going and oh we're back outside oh, and i love the way the castle wall like, they look like castle walls at least like how they surround this area that's open up but you still feel like you're inside of the temple because you're blocked by the walls i don't know why but this reminds me of like an n64 game that was called i believe torok or torok 2 i don't know I, I believe i played both of them when i was really young but they were really weird games, I don't even like them that much. They were from the Nintendo 64, and I'm pretty sure there's a level that had similar walls to that, but yeah. Anyways, we're in a different room. This may look really familiar to the other room where you're in, because it has the same Octorok in like, the same location, and it has a giant Deku Baba, but it's actually different, so don't be deceived. And here, I don't think we can... Can we actually even get that? Pretty sure we can reach it. No, we can't. Now we can. All right, I just want to get it from here. There we go. And then we want to hook shot to this little chest. I could have hook shot it to this chest first and then killed the gold skeletal, but I don't know. I thought I'd just do it like this. Could be easier. But there we go, a little heart. <laughs> so it comes out you don't even have to hook shot to that chest because you're able to pick up the gold skeletal from down here. So the chest is completely useless. But whatever. Uh, as I was saying, this place reminds me of Torak, and if you have played it, let me know if you kind of get the same vibe. Overall, I love it, and I love the way it looks in the 3DS remake that we are currently playing, because in the N64, this area did not look as epic. This looks like a back alley to, like, some school, at least, like, a school I would go to, and I like it a lot, too. It's just really nostalgic, but... Here's another chest that actually contains another stinking key. But that's good. Now we have three keys. And once you do have three keys, you can start progressing throughout the temple normally. So by taking that pathway uh, under that well of sorts, we made our way back into this room, which we first started out in. Once again, it does look similar to the previous room on the opposite side, but it isn't. They're different. So, yeah. But now we are back into the center room, and we're going to use our very first key on this door. This is, like, the only area that's locked that we can make it to. I believe, actually, we unlocked that door earlier, too. But this area is blocked. That one had a Temple of Time block, and that one's literally unreachable. So, yeah, this is the only obvious solution to continue throughout the temple with. But here we are, and, uh, oh, hey, look, another Skull Let's just go ahead and shoot him down and bye. Yeah, you're dead. I, it's so satisfying doing that. Heck... In a bit, it's going to be even more satisfying killing these Skulltulas, and you're going to see why. It's absolutely awesome what we'll be able to do real soon. But after slaying that bubble, we're going to start climbing this area. And here is a not-so-fun puzzle-like quest. Not puzzle, quest. I love that game. That is always fun. But it's a um, little puzzle block quest that we're going to have to do, or I guess not really quest. I don't know why I'm attaching quest to this word. It's just a puzzle with blocks. There you go. And we just need to push these blocks in certain orders, and by doing so, we'll end up making it to where we need to go. And that rhymed, and yeah, that's, that's all I had to say. But let's just keep pushing this giant blue one until it stops on this wall. And then I believe, let's see, is there anything else? I believe we actually need to run all the way around here and push this block into this. Well, it will rest under there there you go so now we can actually climb it and scale this room but there are also stairs we want to check out so let me go ahead and take these real quickly and check out what's going on so um oh there it is so this ginormous red block we just want to push it forward and i noticed that the pixels for these blocks are really bad it looks like it was a really small image stretched because if you look at it closely, it looks really pixelated, like, compared to everything else. The textures aren't the greatest, but this is obviously a 3DS game, but I don't know. I just can't stand these giant blocks. They look really bad. It looks like they were literally meant to just be really small blocks, because look at that. Yeah, look at the wall. Much better. I don't know. 
just me though because I'm a nerd and <laughs> to me it just stands out just like ugh, why did they do that but by pushing that block the red block forward we ended up pushing it into this hallway and then we'll continue pushing it through here and we'll finally be done with the pushing of blocks and stuff because yeah man it, it took a bit <laughs> but we're finally done with that so yay now we can continue on and see what else lies ahead all right let's go ahead and scale this ladder well in this room things are gonna get a little confusing kind of maybe sort I don't know we'll see it's gonna unlock this door and look at this this corridor is all twisted no way Navi I totally didn't see that coming but it's really cool cuz like the the gravity changes with how it twists like look at where the, the door is it looks like it's sideways but as you walk to it it's gonna be right side up like my head is tilted when walking through this area I don't know why it's really cool I love the way it looks but watch out for the shadow monsters yes here lies floor masters they're gonna come from the ceiling and they're gonna try to grab you and you don't want that to happen because if it does you will be ported to the very entrance of the temple so yeah it's not it's not the greatest thing to happen but here is a mini boss battle which is just some more stalfos so not too exciting but we got to do it and don't fall into that hole he may walk over it and because he can they try to bait you with that but no you'll end up falling in it if you try to do so so just stay on the edge and wait for the platform to come down and now another two Stalfos will appear from thin air so there you go like I love the their, tr their transition like the way they come in it's so literally they come from like the ground like their shadow just grows bigger but I'm kind of doing really bad here let's see if I can fight this guy correctly up oh, really I walked into his shield all right come on go for an attack go for an attack please <laughs> so stupid this takes way too long dude all right and I was unable to do anything. All right, there you go. Nope. All right, I got an idea. I'm not going to block anymore. I'm going to let him do this, and then I'm going to go for a strike. Uh, he's still attacking. That would have been a good chance to hit him one more time. All right, there we go. He is dead. Now it's time to take on this guy. Keep attacking me. Yes. He's going crazy. He wants to kill me as soon as possible, so he'll end up killing himself. There we go. All right, so the battle changed immediately once I decided to use my brain, but let's go ahead and open up this chest and pick ourselves up a fairy bow. Yes, this fairy bow is the item of the temple, and it's super duper useful, and it's super awesome. One of the coolest weapons. But then again, I might say that for like every single item I obtain, because they all are freaking awesome. So, yeah, let's go ahead and equip it, though. I shall equip my Deku Nuts. I haven't really equipped anything since I became an adult, but we're going to go ahead and backtrack to this room where that red Poe was on the painting. And we're going to deal with this guy in just a second, but first off, to make things not so confusing, there is two keys we can pick up real quickly. Now, one of them isn't a normal key. One of them is actually going to be a boss key, but... To do so, what you want to do is you want to backtrack to this room where the twisted corridor was and hit this eye switch. What that does is it actually fixes up the twisted hallway. And now if we enter it, it will change the whole layout of the room, which is important because we'll be able to pick up the boss key which is over here as well as a small key in just a second so you want to do this before you even decide to kill any of the pose and progress to the temple because you'll meet a dead end real soon and that's what makes it annoying but here we got some bubbles I believe you can just kill them like this okay you know what that's not gonna work let's try to shoot him with an arrow takes two hits really takes three hits wait is that guy really still alive it is I'd much rather use a sword then because it only takes two hits with your master sword, so yeah. Or in this room, do not progress any further without grabbing this fella. Yes. This is the one gold skull I always seem to forget when playing this game, but it's a good thing I remembered it this time around. I don't know why, but I just do. She's like, oh, that one. How do I get it? 
because you can't get it from all the way down there because your hookshot won't reach so you have to get it from this little pillar but let's go ahead and make our way over here and well <gasps> yes we have a floor master wall master whatever one I always get their them confused Either way, they want to suck magic from you, these little ones. So you don't want that to happen. You just want to kill them as soon as possible. And there you go. We'll get ourselves another small key. And that will pretty much make the whole temple super simple for us. The rest of it is actually super smooth sailing now. That we have obtained all of the keys we need to obtain. The rest of the small keys that we will be getting will be really easy to find. And yeah, now I wonder if there's a shortcut to the top of this room. Let's see. Oh, uh, yes, there is. Okay. So instead of walking all the way up, we can easily hit this eye switch, which will have a chest, but that's actually it. I don't think we can hook shot up there. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to walk up there. Never mind. For some reason, I thought there would have been some kind of shortcut. Either way, I want to pick up that small chest just for the fun of it, so... We'll see exactly what's inside of it as we make our way up here. It's a lot faster, though, since we don't have to use these freaking block puzzle or do the block puzzle. Solve it all. So, yeah, but let's go ahead and see. I don't need to jump there, do I? I believe I want to make my way over here. Walk around, and there you are. Let's hook shot on it, and watch it be arrows. Yeah, great. <laughs> Whatever, I'm 100%ing the game, I want to get whatever I can get, even though they are completely useless and it's not important to even grab, but why the heck not? Got myself some arrows, so maybe they'll come in handy never, but actually they will come in handy. I could use them, but it's so easy to find arrows from enemies, it's not much of an issue. Either way, go ahead and hit this eye switch, revert the twisted corridor to be once again twisted, and now we can start progressing through the temple. And yeah, I don't know, that, that is the only part that makes this whole uh, temple confusing, just forgetting that one small key by untwisting the corridor and then retwisting it and then backtracking with the small key on you. Having done that immediately will do wonders, so yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and quickly hit this painting. You'll notice that there are three paintings within this room. You want to hit all of them uh, as fast as you can and don't, make sure you're not looking at it like that, because if you are looking at it like straight up, he will end up disappearing like this. So the way you want to do this is you want to stand to the side like this where he cannot see you and then shoot him. And then when he has no more paintings to teleport to, he can't really do anything else. He's going to have to just stand and wait for you to shoot him down with your bow. Now it's time to fight this little guy. So go ahead and bring it on. Now my strategy to fighting these poes is not using an arrow to hit him and walking into them when they try to spin attack you because that will prevent the whole animation. If you try to stand back like this, as he starts spinning with his torch, it will take forever for him to complete the animation, as you can tell. So you just wanna block him all with your shield immediately so you can stop the animation like this and then go for an attack. I believe three jump attacks will do the trick. I don't know how many normal swipes will do the trick, but I don't even wanna try. I just wanna kill him as soon as possible because they aren't really fun to fight to begin with. They're really time consuming, but once you do defeat him, look at that, another small chest. And this, I believe, also holds a small key, correct? Yes, okay, yeah. So, that is what I meant, because as we progress with this, with, let's say we only had one small key, we'd end up unlocking the next door, and then we'd literally be roadblocked, so... It's a good thing we have two small keys on us. Now, let's go ahead and kill this one. Oh, I love the way the blue painting looks. Let's see. Let's hit him before he notices. All right, good. Now you are forced to deal with this arrow. All right, now it's time to fight this stinking guy. Bring it on, man. Bring it on. Show me your moves. I stand there. I can't help it. Link just looks so awesome. I don't know. I, I'm always, like, staring at how badass he looks. Like, he's just so cool in combat. That's why I kind of wish that there was a port for the Wii U because I can imagine it being even better in graphics. I don't know. I can't really get into uh, handheld games as much as I can with console games, like home console games. It's weird, but that's just how I am. Always home console games are a lot more, and just knowing that it's a lot bigger and it holds a lot more. It's just more exciting to me. So that's why I'm always excited for a home console. Don't get me wrong though. I mean like 
all of the Zelda titles that were on handhelds were still super fun and I got really into it. It's just playing it on a home console is a lot more exciting. And just imagine playing it on a Wii U like this game with even better graphics. I'm not asking for another remake. That'd be ridiculous, but I don't know. It would be nice still. <laughs> but let's go ahead and open up this door and watch out for nobody cares. Navi, just nobody stinking cares. Because I'm not going to get caught. If you easily run through this area, you don't even have to worry about the shadow grabbing you. But this is what I meant. Yep, see, we use a small key, but immediately we have to use another one. It's kind of dumb how that works, but that's just how it works. And in this room, we have red water. All right, so with our awesome gyro controls. A lot of people said that they don't like the controls within this game. Like the whole gyro controls. I love it, though. I don't know why. I just really like it. Because as you saw... That on the N64 would have taken me 5,000 trillion tries to actually hit that eye that was covered in ice through the torch. But it took me one try and I didn't even hesitate because <laughs> I'm easily able to like position myself with the controls. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, oh, that would have been amazing if I made that whole jump just by jumping like that. <laughs> Sadly, that was not the case. All right, so in this room, I believe there is nothing. Yes, this will take you out if you want a shortcut of sorts, but that's not what I want. I want to keep going. So let's go ahead and backtrack here to where we have a falling ceiling. The ceiling will literally fall down on us. Also, if you walk uh, in this radius of where the ceiling actually does fall down on you, the camera angle gets all wonky and you can't actually aim on the, see as you can tell like this this is what I mean it's like forcing me to aim like this so if you don't want that to happen just stand back kill all of the skulltulas and then make your way through now I'm gonna see I'm gonna try something really risky ceiling might start falling down now but no we were good all right <laughs> as long as the skulltulas are dead it's not that hard to try to run your way through here, but we were able to pick up the chest and now we're able to enter this door. And here is another little puzzle we have to do. We hit this painting, but you gotta match all of these giant freaking blocks with each other in a minute. I don't even know what happens if you don't do it in a minute. I believe like the screen literally fades to black and you re-enter this room and do it again or something. Either way, You'd be really dumb if you couldn't do it within a minute because it's not even a puzzle. They're aligned to be pushed into each other. You don't even have to move things around. You just have to push them in and connect them. And obviously move the one Poe that isn't the same color out of the whole mix. But as you can tell, we're half uh, halfway done with our time at least. But we're completely done with the photo or the little block puzzle. And now we can fight Greeny, the green Poe. I don't think that's actually her name or his name, but it's okay. It's gonna die anytime soon, so it doesn't even matter what name it has. Cause it's useless. I mean it's already dead most likely if it's a Poe, because it's like a spirit. It has no corpse. It's just there. But yeah, alright, come on. Attack me again. There you go. And huzzah! We have done it. Three are down. One more left. And I love how I always accidentally pick up the arrows they drop every time I kill them. I'm like right on them where it instantly falls on me. But there we go. This will actually... Oh, wait, wait. Before I mention anything, I want to show off this. Bam, baby. <laughs> so awesome. You literally send them flying if you shoot a Skulltula with an arrow. It's hilarious. But as I was going to say, this um, room leads us to the, the room that we had no access to. Back to the center room. And once you do kill all of the three Poes, the final fourth one will be waiting for you in the center weeping. Trying to trick you, so, ah, oh, what's going on? Oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. You were evil all along, and now you're going to duplicate yourself into four and try to fight me. What you want to do is you just want to see the ones that, that does an extra spin. That is the actual Poe. Such an easy puzzle. It's a huge time waster. And thing is, they move back from you, so you can't actually hit them with your sword. You have to hit them with your bow. So this is like the only Poe we're going to have to fight with a bow, but it's not much of an issue, honestly. Let's just go ahead and shoot this one down. Hopefully four arrows will do the trick. We'll see right now because we already hit it thrice. So let's see. Bye, baby. Nope. Five. Huh. I believe it's also five regular sword strikes. 
but since I always do the jump attack, it does like double the damage. So it's like six, or it's like three in total, and it looks like it's six attacks, but it's not. But the lift has appeared, guys. And there's still one more Skulltula we need to get, because I believe we have uh, obtained four in total throughout this temple, and we're going to be getting it in just a second. Now, this room is really easy. It's more so just time-consuming. You want to push this giant wall with these with these weird things. You sh like, literally, you just push them. And what happens is you find a secret switch behind each wall, and you're going to go back and forth doing this until you end up solving the puzzle that will open the way to the boss door. I don't know, it, it's a really weird type of puzzle, but, I mean, what can I say? It's interesting, I guess. But there we go, open up another door. All right, let's go ahead and run and continue pushing this. Well, I guess counterclockwise is where we're pushing it. So you wanna make sure you push it counterclockwise so you can uh, solve this correctly. Also, this is where the final Skulltula we need to get lies. It's right here. Not that hard to find because, I mean, you enter this room and you're going to hear it clearly while picking up. Oh, a bundle of arrows. Sweet. It's totally what I need to do. But now if we push this back to the red, which is where it first started, you'll notice that one of the door or gates have opened up, which is, I believe, this one. By pushing down this switch, it will open up the way to the boss door. So now, we just need to follow this hallway that's right up ahead. And we'll be able to take on the boss of the forest temple. How exciting. Also, we can check out these really cool paintings. Can't really tell what they are, but there's there's something. You want to look at them all real quickly just to get a nice glance of them. All right. They're just smudges. I mean, I wouldn't... I don't know. I wouldn't have them on my wall, honestly. They're... Because literally, they make no sense. So, whatever. But yeah, guys, it's time to take on the boss of the Forest Temple. Let's do this. Here we go. 